Hello, I'm meteorologist MJ McDermott from Q13 Fox News this morning, and welcome to the 2011 math conference at Clover Park Technical College. And you may not know that our station, Q13 Fox, is also called KCPQ because we actually started at the Clover Park Technical College. Well, I'm here to talk about math, and I know I looks like I have a glamorous job where all I do is tell you that the pet walk forecast means we're going to have wet paws today, and then I show puppies with their tongues sticking out in pretty places like Crater Lake there. That's Gizmo sent in from Adam in Seattle. But really, what I do involves a lot of math. This is a computer model. It's called the MM5, and it's run by the University of Washington Atmospheric Sciences Department. You can see the outline of Washington State, and the color on the map is the rain that's on the way for today, actually. And this computer model is driven by literally tens of thousands of math equations, equations of physics and chemistry and even statistics. So what kind of equations am I talking about? Some some of them are fairly simple, and you may know this one, rate times time equals distance. So if I have a race car here going 100 miles per hour, and it's driving for, let's see, two hours, how far will it go? Well, that's pretty easy. 200 miles, of course. So that's a very simple equation of physics. Rate times time equals distance. Mathematics describing our world. How about this one? This is an equation that we use in atmospheric sciences or meteorology. It's called the hypsometric equation. And it looks really complicated, but it's not if you just take it apart. We've got two different heights in the atmosphere. So a lot of times we use sea level or the surface, and then another height way up high. And the way we find that distance is through pressure. Now this is called a constant. It's a number that's the same all the time, the gas constant. This is the temperature of the layer, T. G is the acceleration due to gravity. And these are logarithms. See, you wonder why you need them, right? For an equation like this, you do. And then you've got the pressure at the surface, P1, at the pressure at the second level, P2. So you get all these numbers, you crunch them, and you get the height. Why in the world would you need that? Well, you need to know what's going on at different levels of the atmosphere. And also, have you ever ridden in an airplane? This equation is used in altimeters. Pilots know what the pressure is where their plane is, P2. They know what the surface pressure is. And with this equation, they can figure out how high they are up in the sky so they know they're not going to run into a mountain or land inappropriately. So equations like this are very important. So you got to wonder, you know, why are we doing this? Well, if you want to be an airline pilot, if you want to be a meteorologist, or you want to be an engineer, you're going to need to know math to get along. Math is fun. Math is a puzzle. Math is also hard, but stick with it. It'll enrich your life. So welcome to the 2011 math conference. Have a great time. I'm meteorologist MJ McDermott from Q13 Fox News. Signing off.